You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. This item was provided for review by Disney. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and I get to check out two dolls today. Both of them are from the Disney Store, ages 3+. plus. On the left is Elsa, and on the right is Anna. This is from the Disney Animators Collection. I don't really know anything about them, so it's nice that I can check them out and show them to you. See how they move and check out their clothes and go over all the details. So what I'm going to do next is just actually flip these around and we'll take a look at the back. All right, here are the back of the boxes. I wanted to show this to you because it's pretty neat. They show pictures of people that actually worked on the Disney Frozen and tell you what their role was on the movie. And there's little stories for each. So let me do this. I'm going to zoom in on this one first. When we come back, I'll show you this story. All right, so here's the back of the first box. It says, Celebrate the Heritage of Disney Animation with the Disney Animators Collection. Created under the guidance of Disney's most renowned animators, these young renditions of your favorite characters are brought to life with creativity and imagination. And the story goes on. So let me switch over now to the other box. All right, so here's the back of the second box. Now, the story kind of is different in this paragraph, but then it's the same for both boxes here. So I'll read a little bit more here. It says, we're integral in bringing the frozen characters to life on the big screen. Jim Kim is an accomplished character designer with credits including Tangled, Wreck-It Ralph, and The Princess and the Frog. Beginning his illustrious career in Korea, Jim Kim joined Walt Disney Animation Studios in 1995. So it's kind of neat to have the stories about the people that were part of the movie and also for the inspiration for these dolls. So now let me get them out of the box and we'll take a look at them. All right, here they are, both out of the box, as you can see. It was pretty neat getting them out. Not too hard, a couple little twist ties and stuff like that. But as you're doing that, I was able to kind of look at the detail and you can see how nice the clothes are done. They each have an Olaf, except Anna's Olaf has an orange nose and it's a puppy little stuffed animal. So we'll take a closer look at that in a little bit. What I want to do now is just take a look at the Anna doll. So let's do that next. All right, so here is Anna now. Let's take a close look at her face and then we'll take a look at her clothes. As you can see, She's got pigtails tied up in a little black fabric, and I bet you those come out, but I will not determine that right now. We'll just take a look. I'll turn her around just a little. You can kind of see the details up there, and I'll just check now. Yes, they will unwind. They're wrapped in another little plastic piece underneath it, and there's Velcro on the back of her dress here. I'll show you that, and you can see the details around the bottom. Let me turn her this way. Let's get a close look at our little Olaf with the orange nose. Now, he will come off her wrist, so you can take it off. And then it's just attached up here with one of those little plastic ties. I left it on there because it looked cool. And then her head. Let's check out the movement. What's going on here? Looks like she can nod, turn, okay? And her arm. Let's check her arm. So her arm kind of moves in this direction, up and down. Legs. Now the legs, there's no movement there. So it doesn't look like she can sit. Oh wait, there is some movement there. Maybe she just needs to be played with a little. That's it. So you can sit her down like that. Probably the more you play with her, then she'll start to, you know, be more poseable. So that does work. Ankles, don't turn. Let's take off a shoe. Okay, so no turning there. Shoes go on real easy. See that? So overall, I'm going to say super, super quality. Looks like it's going to be a fun doll to play with. Let's move on to Elsa now and check her out. All right, time for Elsa. Let me zoom in like I did for Anna. And you can kind of see she has a black headband on. And then her hair is braided in the back. I'll kind of see if I can fit it all in there. Let me turn her around. Whoa, don't fall. And it looks like this will come out if you want to rebraid it. And Velcro on the back to get the back part open. And then let me just move down here. You can see Olaf there. He's another puffy Olaf, which comes off. And her dress has a lot of little fabric change and colors all the way down to here. And then her shoes. Let me get a shoe off for you. So as far as posability, she's the same as her sister. Shoes are easy to take off. So overall, I'm going to say they're both really nice dolls. When I come back, I'll have them both back in here. We'll just recap and go over everything one more time. All right, the sisters are back. I'm going to say after taking a look at them, quality's really nice. Um, they're about 16 inches tall. They're from the Disney Store and part of their 
Disney Animators Collection, like I read some of the story on the box. So you want to see more cool Disney stuff like this, look in the description for a playlist. Or as always, you can search our channel. Later! If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh yeah, please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up. Thanks for watching.